Welcome to a tutorial on MOSFETs today and in this tutorial uh, we are just going to uh, discuss uh, from where we left in the previous tutorial on the MOSFET introduction. So uh, here in this tutorial I'm just going to tell you what you have not come across till now that basically you know uh, there are you know types of MOSFETs actually. So uh, you know MOSFETs could be uh, broadly classified into two types of categories. So one type of MOSFET is known as the depletion type MOSFETs. Okay. And we just call this, you know, D MOSFETs in short. Okay, so there you go. That's the D MOSFET. Okay. And on the other hand, we are gonna have the enhancement type MOSFETs. Okay, so there you go. That's the enhancement MOSFET over here. I'll just write, you know, enhancement MOSFET in this case. And uh, in this case, uh, the enhancement MOSFET is also in a refer to in short as the E MOSFET. Okay, so there you go. So basically, these are the two uh, types of, you know, MOSFETs, you know, uh, that are basically, you know, uh, could be broadly classified into. So uh, just keeping that in mind, if we just, you know, move on to the, uh, you know, discussion, I mean, we want to discuss in detail about the uh, two types of MOSFETs that we have here. So if we just, you know, try and figure out the uh, structure of the two types of MOSFETs, then basically you'll be seeing this sort of diagram over here. So I'll just show you. Okay, so there you go. That's a diagram that I needed to show you over here. So uh, basically, if you if you all would, you know, take a good look at the diagrams, and you will see that there are two different types of uh, diagrams for you know the MOSFETs. So the one on the uh, left actually represents the uh, okay. I'll just use white in this case. The one on the right, uh, I'm sorry, there. One on the left actually uh, gives us the, the diagram of the D MOSFET. Okay, that's the structural diagram of the D MOSFET. And on the uh, that's on the left. Okay, and on the right we have the uh, structural diagram of the um, E MOSFET. Okay, on the right. So there you go. That's E MOSFET in this case. So, as you can see here, uh, that in case of the D MOSFET, okay, so there is this uh, P type substrate, okay, so this is basically the substrate material, all right, and uh, now there are two, you know, highly doped N type regions, okay, on two sides of this uh, substrate material, and that they have been, you know, just doped into this material and, and uh, made, I, I mean, just this system, you know, results over there. So, these two uh, highly uh, doped N type uh, regions, okay, are, you know, connected together uh, by means of a conducting channel, okay, in between. So, this is basically the channel that I'm talking about over here. So this is basically the channel. Okay, so now this is referred to as the uh, conducting channel. Okay, I'll just, you know, uh, make that cleaner. Okay, so we'll need that in future purpose. Okay, so there we have, this is our conducting channel. Okay, so there we go. So uh, now uh, this uh, channel, you know, being uh, made up of electrons in this case, uh, this uh, D MOSFET is basically uh, representing an N channel okay an n channel d mosfet okay so now uh, these are basically uh, the uh, various parts of uh, the d mosfet i mean the n channel d mosfet over here in this uh, discussion and this one is the uh, silicon dioxide insulator layer okay so now um, as usual like the other fets it will have the gate okay so let the uh, right one be i mean sorry there left one be the drain and the right one be the source terminals Okay, and so does the eMOSFET have the gate, the drain, and the source terminal, same as the previous one. And now, uh, the basic difference between the D and the E-type MOSFET structures that we can see here is that, now, uh, the E-type MOSFET also has, you know, uh, two um, heavily doped N-type regions. So there you go, that's the heavily doped N-type regions, you know, doped into the uh, P-type substrate. Okay, so there you go that's the p-type substrate and uh, unfortunately you can see that in case of the e MOSFET there is no connection between the two types I mean the two uh, heavily doped n-type regions on either side okay so now uh, that's the basic structural difference between this I mean I mean between the two types of MOSFETs okay so now if we would you know apply uh, the required amounts of voltages in order to make the MOSFETs you know work as they should 
okay so then if we would just you know go forward and apply uh, okay so let's just apply uh, you know the uh, negative uh, voltage on the source terminals on both the MOSFETs and the positive uh, voltage on the uh, drain terminals on both the MOSFETs in this case so uh, in this case we have the uh, E MOSFET also okay I'll just you know uh, come to that point later okay I'll just mention that later okay so here uh, by applying you know uh, required voltages on the uh, drain and source uh, terminals in case of the uh, D MOSFET the electrons already start to flow through this uh, conducting channel over here so now uh, I mean the current basically you know starts to flow over here so now if we would just you know go forward and apply you know um, a positive voltage uh, I'm sorry there if we would just you know go forward and apply a negative voltage on the gate terminal then of course there would be a depletion region formed in this N type channel over here so that's marked in red okay so now this depletion region uh, would you know increase in width and so would the channel with decrease if we just go on increasing this negative uh, voltage on the gate terminal on the D MOSFET okay so now uh, we can see here that the amount of uh, current flowing through the channel would just decrease if we just increase this uh, gate source voltage okay where uh, the uh, potential falling on the gate terminal is a negative one okay so in this case uh, this would just happen okay the and the uh, drain current would just decrease in magnitude on the other hand if we would just you know um, if we would just apply a uh, positive voltage on the gate terminal okay okay so that just uh, rubbing it out for the uh, sake of in you know, a clarity okay so now if we would just you know, apply a positive voltage on the gate terminal instead then due to capacitor action again uh, same as the uh, previous one what will happen is that uh, it'll just you know, attract uh, electrons which are the minority carriers in this P type substrate okay about this channel over here so now with the more number of electrons you know gather and accumulate around this channel okay so the more number of uh, charge carriers that will just you know increase in the channel so for a given amount of gate source voltage okay the uh, voltage on the gate terminal being positive in this case uh, would just you know uh, cause a greater amount of drain current to flow through this channel so what we see here is that if we would apply a positive voltage on the gate terminal then the amount of uh, gate I mean the, then the amount of drain current would basically increase in magnitude while if we would just you know apply a negative potential on the gate uh, terminal then the amount of drain current would just you know decrease if we would just you know go on increasing the gate source voltage okay and now uh, since there is insulator between uh, the gate and the uh, uh, semiconductor uh, substrate over here so the capacitor action you know causes the, the respective charges to be induced attracted and repelled by all sorts of electrostatic actions over here okay so having said that if we just quickly you know move on to the e mosfet working characteristics then we'll see that here uh, now we can see that there is no uh, conducting channel between uh, the two n type materials okay i mean the two n type regions okay in the substrate so what do we do is that we just go forward and apply a positive voltage or rather a positive potential on the gate terminal and now this positive potential on the gate I mean falling on the gate terminal due to its uh, capacitive action what it'll do is that it'll just you know uh, pull out or rather attract the electrons which are the minority carriers in this p-type substrate and they'll just you know gather around you know accumulating okay uh, in between the two uh, highly doped n-type regions okay about I mean beneath this uh, you know insulation I mean silicon dioxide insulation layer right over here that's the silicon dioxide insulation layer in pink okay so beneath that it will just you know they, they, they'll just you know uh, continue to accumulate so now higher the amount of uh, positive uh, potential on the gate terminal okay so if we just you know go uh, forward and increase the gate source voltage uh, at this uh, moment and then the amount of electrons in this I mean in between the two uh, highly doped you know n-type materials uh, I mean n-type regions in this uh, uh, you know uh, 
MOSFET would just you know increase I mean the number of electrons existing over here would just you know increase and multiply in number and that will cause a very very high density of charge carriers over here and then the amount of drain current would also increase so therefore the, just keeping that in mind we're gonna show you the uh, static characteristics of the uh, JFETs over here so here we go that's the static okay static characteristics okay characteristics alright so there we go just hold on for a second there okay so there you go that's the static characteristics of both the uh, two types of uh, MOSFETs over here that's the D and the E type MOSFETs so here you can see uh, if you all would remember uh, from the previous tutorial on JFETs that the curve was basically you know, divided into three regions that's the linear saturation and breakdown the same happens over here the curves are not at all much different in shape and size either okay so the only thing that needs to be observed over here is that in case of D MOSFET as you can see there is a significant amount of you know drain current even when the gate source voltage is zero which means that the D MOSFET is basically a normally open or rather normally on device okay while if we just take a look at the E MOSFETs uh, you know uh, static characteristics then we see that as we just increase uh, the gate source voltage the gear the uh, amount of you know drain current would increase and uh, vice versa I mean if we just you know decrease it the amount of drain current would obviously decrease so now upon increasing I'm mean, sorry there if upon decreasing uh, the gate source voltage okay almost to zero okay the drain current would also you know possibly drop down to zero uh, okay so in this case what happens is that uh, since uh, due to this uh, property this E MOSFET is basically known as you know uh, normally off device okay so there you go so that's uh, the uh, one of the two uh, basic characteristics of the uh, D and the E MOSFETs there and now if we just you know, take a look over here in case of the D MOSFET that if we just you know go on increasing the positive uh, voltages okay then the amount of drain current would just keep on increasing and if we just decreased the uh, you know uh, the gate source voltage below zero volts then the amount of gate currents would decrease as well and they would just become in you know, a negative I'm sorry there if we just you know, apply you know a uh, negative voltage at the gate source terminal in this case then the amount of gate uh, current I'm mean, sorry there the amount of drain current okay would just you know decrease in magnitude till the moment it just becomes zero okay so uh, in the E MOSFET section we just see that uh, increase the gate source voltage current would in I mean the drain current would increase and doing the reverse it'll just decrease as well so that's basically what we find here from the static characteristics and now uh, just keeping that in mind we also have you know the uh, transfer uh, characteristics of uh, the uh, two uh, types of I mean yeah that's uh, the uh, D and the E MOSFETs over here basically so now if I just you know uh, draw the uh, diagrams over here so if this is the D MOSFETs as a depletion MOSFET then you would find that the transfer characteristic would just look somewhat like this so here we have in case of the transfer characteristics as the drain current versus the gate source voltage so now you can see here when the gate source voltage okay is in the negative region so then this is basically referred to uh, as the depletion mode of operation of the uh, D uh, MOSFET while if it's in the uh, positive uh, you know uh, region over here then the uh, MOSFET is I mean the D MOSFET is just you know uh, said to be operating in the enhancement mode okay so there you go that's basically the transfer characteristics for uh, the uh, D MOSFET while uh, for the uh, okay sorry there uh, okay fine well for the um, you know uh, the other uh, MOSFET that's the E MOSFET over here basically what would happen is that the uh, characteristics is basically zero okay and suddenly you know rises up okay uh, in case uh, I mean uh, to the positive uh, side of the uh, x-axis over here uh, on which you know the 
the gate source voltage is of course you know depicted or rather you know plotted so there we go we have the uh, drain current plotted on the y axis over here and now this just obviously you know, operates in the enhancement mode and we can see here that as we go on increasing the gate source voltage the drain current would just go on increasing and vice versa would happen if we just you know decreased it in the other direction okay so that's basically uh, the transfer characteristics so this uh, sort of graphs are you know known as the transfer uh, characteristics okay so since they just you know uh, link up okay so since they just you know linking up the output current okay to the input gate source voltage so that's uh, basically the transfer characteristics over here and now uh, in order to obtain uh, these characteristics we need a circuit setup well here's the uh, circuits uh, required for their experimental setup there okay just hold on for a second okay so that's it so this is the experimental setup circuits for uh, both the D and the E type MOSFET we can also you know uh, draw the same circuits using the uh, circuit symbols okay which I'll just shortly show you over here okay just hold on for a second there I'll just uh, they'll just be coming up okay here it is so that's the uh, diagram of the uh, different circuit symbols okay so as you can see here that uh, these are the N channel and the P channel types of the uh, D MOSFET okay so there you go and on uh, onto the right we have the E MOSFETs okay uh, the N and P channel counterparts right over here as you can see and if we try to draw this uh, circuit over here for the experimental setup using uh, the circuit uh, symbols uh, as given over here then uh, the whole uh, diagram okay would appear as something like this yeah that's right so there you go that's uh, basically the diagram over here so now uh, here in this uh, one we have the uh, I mean this one is the setup for the uh, D MOSFET over here uh, that's on the left okay and on the right we have the setup for the E MOSFET basically so here we can see that in this experimental setup we're just taking the readings of the gate source uh, voltages okay and then the drain source voltages and uh, the drain current in both the uh, D MOSFET and E MOSFET as well and that's how we obtain our static and uh, transfer characteristics over here so uh, just having that said we just come to the end of our tutorial discussion on the MOSFET characteristics hope you've enjoyed our uh, tutorial and don't forget to watch the next one so till then it's just thank you for now and goodbye